So, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi hey. guys, welcome back to my vlog. We've just arrived at Carlingford, we're gonna get a little picnic going and then have a little walk about. We're just heading down to this rock beach and there's nettles everywhere. Why am I always in bare Hi, feet? I swear I spend my life going up uneven rocks <laughs> in un inappropriate shoes. So in Carlingford there's a thing called Carlingford Adventure Centre and my mum's actually done it. And what it is, it's a water sports camp for all ages. The one my mum did was a kayaking tour and they spent two hours going up and down the sea. They got to stop into some sea caves and then finish off with a jump into the sea off of this over the sea trampoline. All right, there's yeah. someone jumping in. That looks so much fun. I'd love to do something like this. So my mom said she would 100% recommend it. She can't remember what the cost was exactly for it, but it was not it, it was decent from what you remember, yeah. yeah. Decent price. So Carlingford Adventure Center, I'll link it below. King John's Castle, also known as Carlingford Castle, is an enclosure castle and a national monument. It was built in the late 12th century and has walls inside that are up to 11 foot thick. Once you get to the top of this castle, there is a fabulous lookout point which will give you views over all of the sea and mountains in the background and you might even spot a few boats that resemble something out of Mamma Mia. So right now the actual inside of the castle isn't open, I think because of Covid obviously, but it is free to walk around all the outside and take all the pictures and stuff. So in Carlickford, once a year, once every summer, there is a leprechaun hunt. So I've never done this, but Katie's done it, right? Yeah. And Kyle. <laughs> Kyle's done it? Yeah. Katie, Kyle and Mam have all done it, so it is a real thing. But have you ever won anything? No. So last year on the 12th of May, the leprechaun hunt took place and it's six euro to enter. And basically through all of these streets, there is cauldrons. And in some cauldrons they have these vouchers and a voucher can be used within any of the local businesses. And in one of the special cauldrons, there is an actual bar of gold, which is valued at 1,200 euros. So not a shabby prize for six pound to play. And that happened in 2019 on the 12th of May. So if you do plan to come to Carlingford, aim for May, because you might win some gold. I remember the summer, we were just kids living in a dream. Originally this was just going to be a family island to Carlingford but since coming here I actually think this might turn into one of those travel destinations that you should visit like one of my travel vlogs because not only do they have a beach, a water camp with all these kayaks, they've got like I've seen three castles at least like one's obviously in ruins but there's two other ones that you still can visit. They've got loads of markets and antique stalls, they've got loads of cafes. They now also have a zipline place called Sky Park which is two minutes down the road and they've also got a leprechaun hunt where you can win real gold and they've got picnic tables and you can barbecue here as well at the picnic tables. Definitely visit here. Shout out to Carlingford for the staycation. One final thing to mention about this place is that they actually have a ferry that goes from County Down to County Louth. So be prepared to see stunning scenery, meet the friendly staff, and if you're lucky, you might actually meet the famous dolphin called Finn. And that was Carlingford. Well, heaven knows you're like water and like fire. Next up on our Which County Louth staycation, we are going to visit the Proleak Dolmen, which is a megalithic tomb and it basically comprises of like two or three kind of standing stones and then the top stone, which is, I can't remember their special name for it, and it basically weighs, I read online, 35 tonnes, which is kind of the equivalent of, if you think about it, six or seven elephants, which is hella heavy. It's actually kind of through the golf course of the Ballymac Hotel but it's a really nice walk just in general to go visit. Oh look a stream!
Yeah, I thought it was like, it looks different in the photos. I thought that was it. That's not it, a little bit further to go. So we've made it. We're at Pro Lake Dolmen. These tombs were built in 3000 BC, so very, very old. I swear on my these little stones at the top what happens is is you're supposed to throw a stone up there and if it lands on the top you make a wish and the fairies grant your wish so we're gonna give that a go now and see if we can make a wish I've got my stone I don't even know what I'm gonna wish for I wish for coronavirus to be over yeah! I did it the fairies will grant my wish well, that was Pro League Dolmen Making wishes come through since 3000 BC. Okay, we're back home. So that was Carlingford and the Pro League Dolmen. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't smashed that subscribe button, what are you doing with your life? Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Leave me some love in the comments below and I will see you in the next one. Bye.